Hello everyone. I am Dr. Subramanian Kannan, consultant endocrinologist and head of the department at Narayana Hospitals, Bangalore. Today I will delve with one important question that a lot of my patients ask me. Sir, I am having diabetes. I want to get rid of my medications, whether it is tablets or whether it is insulin. Now, there is a tendency for them to ask this question. They feel that diabetes should be managed purely with lifestyle. The, the question is you know, straightforward. Can I stop my medicines? If I do, if I be on a very strict diet and lifestyle, can I stop my medications? The answer is definitely complicated and I will kind of break it down into some parts. I usually draw a, a Venn diagram. A Venn diagram is two circles and I tell them that diabetes is an effect of two large factors. One obviously lifestyle which involves your diet, exercise, weight, stress levels, sleep patterns, quality of sleep, etc, etc, which are under the control of the patient themselves. Of course, there is one more circle on the Venn diagram that we tend to forget. And that circle is the genetic predisposition and the pancreatic ability to make insulin. The extreme form of diabetes where the pancreas does not function at all are type 1 diabetes patients or in those who have had pancreatic removal because of various other reasons. And in those patients, they cannot survive without insulin. In type 2 diabetes, which is the most common form of diabetes that we are talking about today, the pancreas is not 100% functional and it may be 80%, it may be 60%, it may be 40%, it may be 20%. And as time goes by and as you age, the pancreas functions will decline slowly over time. So I tell my patients, your diabetes is a result of two overlapping Venn diagrams. One lifestyle, one genetic predisposition of pancreatic function or the ability of your pancreas to function and its sustenance over many years down the line. If your diabetes is predominantly driven by lifestyle problems, say 90% of your diabetes is because of lifestyle issues and there's only a 10% or maybe a 5% pancreatic problem, then it is possible that with very good lifestyle changes of your diet and exercise habits, good sleep, you may be able to get rid of medications. And you may be able to maintain that diabetes control for a good period of time as long as the pancreas is functioning well. As I told you, as time goes by, the pancreas function will slow down and deteriorate. And therefore, therefore, even those who have achieved good diabetes control, in fact, we call that diabetes remission or they have kind of, you know, quote unquote, reversed their diabetes. We still ask them to monitor their HbA1c's and their sugars periodically because whatever they have achieved is at that point of time and things may change as their pancreatic function deteriorates over future. On the other hand, if your diabetes is contributed by a significant pancreatic dysfunction, meaning that the other circle which is contributing to diabetes is large. So if you have a 40 or 50 percent problem in your pancreas and the remaining 50 percent is because of your lifestyle, merely changing the lifestyle will not fix your diabetes problem. And that is where medications, tablets or injections or insulin come into play. How do we know what is contributing to your diabetes? Is it genetic factors, pancreatic factors or is it lifestyle factors? Difficult to say in the first go, difficult to say in the first go, but your physician, your endocrinologist 
can observe you over a period of time and then can decide if you are someone in whom the majority of problem is in lifestyle and hence can possibly decrease medications and stop them or they can also say problem is majority in the pancreatic ability to make insulin and hence even if you are in good lifestyle you might still have to take medicines so i think the important message uh, that i need to convey today on the uh, occasion of the world diabetes day is that know your risk know what is causing diabetes in your case and that your physicians can definitely help you and if the proportion of your diabetes contribution is because of poor functioning of pancreas keep in mind medicines are actually helpful and beneficial and in the long run keeping your diabetes in a good control can slow down the pancreatic dysfunction in other words pancreas will be able to make better insulin if you keep your diabetes under good control so uh, taking medicines is not a bad thing and in fact taking medicines may actually help you not only get good diabetes control but also prolong the ability of pancreas to function better over a longer period of time thank you